reports the FBI arrests an Afghan man living in Oklahoma City for plotting an Election Day terrorist attack in the name of ISIS. Authorities say Nasir Tahidi and his co-conspirator not only planned an attack, but were prepared to die as martyrs. It is more an unsettling fact that a man was ready to take a child with him to go pretty much kill herself in a lot of senses. Christian Robertson says he witnessed authorities raid the apartment above him this week. We were looking upstairs, they were pulling stuff out. Shocked to learn 27-year-old Nasir Tahidi lived there with his wife and young child. Never put really two and two together, I guess, because, I mean, they left us alone, we left them alone, but when they did come down, they were just real smug and didn't want to nothing to do with anybody. About two miles from the Southwest OKC apartment complex, residents living near this home and more also saw a large police presence this week. The FBI's criminal complaint listed the Moore address where Tahiti's relatives lived, including his 17-year-old co-conspirator. Agents say the home was listed for sale in July to raise money to send Tahiti's family to Afghanistan. You're planning terrorist attacks and, you know, you're selling everything. That's that's foolish. Court documents revealed Tahiti and the 17 year old were arrested in rural Oklahoma on Monday after buying two AK-47 assault rifles, 10 magazines and 500 rounds of ammo. And I do feel like there's there's more to it. There's more people to it. But I mean, as of right now, I guess we can celebrate the victory that we did get with that raid yesterday and the people that we did find out about. We heard investigation evidence presented by U.S. attorneys. The only witness called an FBI special agent from the Oklahoma City office who interviewed 27-year-old Nasir Tahiti after his arrest on October 7th. During that interview, the FBI agent says Tahiti admitted to planning the attack in allegiance to ISIS. It was also confirmed in the hearing two of the three Afghan nationals recently arrested in France were Tahiti's biological brothers. The suspects allegedly planned to target at a football match or shopping center in France. The FBI agent testified they observed Tahiti in Oklahoma City in the metro for 45 days prior to his arrest, observing meaning under surveillance. The terrorist suspect had contact with law enforcement two or three times during that surveillance period. These interactions were always recorded by video or audio. The U.S. presented evidence that Tahiti and his brother-in-law, co-conspirator, acted on behalf of ISIS, having direct contact with an ISIS individual named Abdul Malik. Tahiti and his brother-in-law purchased two AK-47s and 500 rounds of ammo from an undercover agent. We also learned Tahiti worked as a security guard for the U.S. Eagle military installation in Kabul before coming to the U.S. Tahiti sat next to his attorney during the hearing. He was shackled and wore headphones linked to an interpreter. The U.S. counsel confirmed Tahiti's parole status in the U.S. has been revoked and he no longer has a passport. The federal judge found enough probable cause evidence to bind Tahiti over for trial, saying the court has serious concerns about the danger he presents to the community. Also, two women, possibly Tahiti's wife and a relative, were present during that hearing. He made contact with them, eye contact with them a number of times in court. In the newsroom, Jennifer Pierce, Oklahoma's own News 9.